Marcus Williams. Oh. Yes, so he has turned it in the third quarter. Maybe he heard some of our telecasts of Rajon Rondo just torching him in that first half. Offensively now trying to get it going. Allen on a quick release. So you're saying that you feel Mo has been listening to the telecast. Or been getting tweeted. Oh, I see. Maybe he got some tweets from his, At halftime. From his boys, yeah. Just under four left in the third. Williams. Yes. He has scored the last eight points for the Cavaliers. The Boston lead is five. They've led by as many as 11 on seven occasions. LeBron going for the steal. Let's check in with David Aldridge. David. Well, guys, that was, according to the Cavaliers, Mo Williams' first career dunk. You talk about sending a message at the appropriate time, Mark. <laughs> he was waiting for the proper moment. Wow. Got caught to three. Allen. Ray Allen. Nice move by Ray Allen. Wait a minute. First career dunk as a Cavalier or in general? We'll have to have the staff check that out. No way. Williams and a foul as he is run into. We're told it is as a Cavalier his first his career dunk. That's still pretty impressive. Foul is called on Rondo. That is number three. Mo coming over from the Milwaukee Bucks. Emerged as an all-star last season in his first year with, with Cleveland. And has now poured home the last nine points for the Cavs. Well, mind you, LeBron James is, is resting during all this. I understand come fourth quarter time, LeBron James, the number one fourth quarter scorer during the regular season at almost eight points. During the playoffs, almost ten points in the fourth period for LeBron. Well, Williams, ten points over a minute and 40. To cut the lead to five. Rasheed Wallace had just checked in, not able to hit from downtown, and Jameson was fouled by Rondo. That's four on Rajon Rondo. Well, the Celtics have gotten away from their game plan that was so successful in the first two periods. Rondo attacking the basket and finding offense for himself as well as his teammates. Now a lot of isolation in one-on-one -on -one and long shots has resulted in this Cavalier run in the third period. Celtics over the limit. Uh, Antoine Jameson, who has had his ups and downs at the line. And this evening, just two of five at the free throw line. A programming reminder, TDS in June, from executive producer Ice Cube, comes a brand new sitcom about one family's journey to get there. Are We There Yet? A brand new series premieres June 2nd at night, 8 Central, only on TDS. Cleveland is now with him four. Just under three to go. In the third, game one of this best of seven. Wallace wide open. Barajo had it slapped away. Another foul on the Celtics. This time, Tony Allen would just come on. Call to the reach in. So the Cavaliers back to the line, and things have turned here in the third quarter, propelled by Mo Williams, who had 10 straight points for Cleveland. Well, Mo's been spectacular at the offensive end, but two silly fouls for the Boston Celtics. One for Rondo to pick up his fourth foul, and this pass foul on Tony Allen sending Verzal to the free throw line. You're the Cavaliers, you get a chance to settle your defense, but more importantly, score with no time coming off the clock. 12-4 run for Cleveland. Down to a two-point lead. And the Cavs are doing it without the usual outstanding all-around offensive performance by LeBron James. Nice move, yes, and the foul. So the basket counts, and Tony Allen will go to the line. Nice body control here by Tony Allen. He takes the little bump in contact by Mo Williams. 
to stop the bleeding for the Celtics. And it hooks the Cavs over the limit. Tony Allen has been injury hit this season. Kind of a streaky shooter. Very tough defensively. Doc Rivers telling us uh, earlier that uh, Tony Allen now accepts what his role is. Now? At least for the moment. Now? You should have always known when he even came into the league what his role is. Play tough defense and make opportunistic baskets at the offensive end. Williams forced the shot as he's played by Ayala, but it was covered by Varejao. Jameson with the bucket. It's good play by Anderson Varejao. So the Cavaliers once again with him three. Big Baby Davis now up from with Rasheed Wallace and Paul Pierce. James breaks it up. And last touch by Pierce. Mo Williams in this third period has been Mo Better Blues. Up for his first dunk ever for the Cavaliers. Step back jumper, and then let me get into the lane with my little floater. And then off the pick and roll situation, knocking down the dagger. Who's writing your material tonight, Ray? What are you talking about, Marvelous? Mo is four of four. Here's Williams again. Make it five to five from the field in this third quarter, and the Cavs are within one. Coming up on a minute to play in the third. 18 points for Williams. 14 of the 18 here in the third. Allen picks it out. The other Allen, Ray, fires it up. Off the scramble, Davis rejected Allen on the follow. Tony Allen playing very well here. And the final minutes of the third, 78-75, Boston. Williams for three. Barja pulls it out of the hands of Wallace, and they get the new clock. Here's Hickson who just came back in. Hickson. J.J. Hickson has played well. Four for five. Nine points, and suddenly the Celtics are not able to stop the Cavaliers. That's why Mike Brown has to find minutes for J.J. Hickson. It's his activity off the bench. Pierce fed out a switch by Varjao. They have seven on the shot clock. Pierce on a step back for three. He's been off after the good start. Cleveland can hold for a final shot of the third, and they can take the lead. James, met by Pierce. There's LeBron on the drive. And he scores! At the buzzer! LeBron James has let his backcourt mate do most of our lifting in the third period, but with the shot clock running down in the period, the King rises from his throne to get the bucket to go 